Welcome to my channel, Let's Summarize It. My name is Hussam al Daman, and today we're going to talk about the future of education technology. Before we delve into this topic, it's important to note that education technology has played an important role in teaching and learning ever since the advent of uh, the PC, the personal computer, in the 1980s. However, what has changed drastically is the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and, and its impact on the way that students had to learn remotely. And of course, when everybody was forced to use the various devices and the various uh, platforms, things have changed in a very dramatic way. On a commercial side, how did that impact the future of this industry? Two things have occurred this year, 2021. The first was the Coursera IPO and the second, which is the recent acquisition of edX by 2U. Now, what does that say about the future of education and the future of this technology? Well, we've got a couple of articles that we want to discuss with you today that explain this and provide a clear insight as to what could be expected into the future. The first article is labeled, What Lies in Store for the, for the EdTech Industry in the Not too distant future. This was published June 8, 2021 in Education Technology by Brad Tumbling. Now, in this article, Brad discusses the transformation that has taken place and will be taking place in the next few years. He was referring to the following. Virtual reality, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, gamification, and the use of big data. All of these are driven by data collected by uh, various um, companies and industries about student preferences. And the final outcome of this is to provide personalized education to the students. And it seems like this is an idea that is catching on. A report that was published by Holland IQ mentioned the following. The global education technology market size will reach $404 billion by 2025. Now this is a very bold prediction, which is letting us know that on a commercial level, on an industrial level, education technology is and will be booming in the near future. Another article, this was labeled What's Driving Growth in the Ed Tech Market, published March 29, 2021 in Government Technology by Brandon Pickerman. Now in this article, they mention that prior to COVID-19, technology was used to supplement education. However, ever since the pandemic, EdTech has become central to the TNL process. They gave specific examples. In the US, K-12 spent $35.8 billion in 2020 on hardware, software, curriculum uh, resources, and networks. This was a 25% increase from 2019. Of course, they make a reference to the demand for individualized learning and providing students with more options in the future. Now, I will leave it to you to think about this. If this investment was made in 2020, it seems like the educational system seems to be heading more and more towards the edtech uh, route. It also gives us information about legislative uh, 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 reforms that will be taking place in the United States. For example, government funding for improving the, broad, the broadband infrastructure. And they quoted also two important factors that will be driving demand in the near future. One, the hybrid curriculum, which will definitely be taking place in the near future. Number two, collaboration that requires devices and platforms. So it seems like on a commercial level, there's going to be this increase 
in the use of EdTech in the near future. I'm going to give you my opinion and I would like to hear yours. Education technology has played an important part in education at all levels for the last 40 years. However, now that we have gone through the pandemic and we have seen how important it was to use these various tools that were at our disposal, I'm talking devices, networks, platforms, apps, it seems like we have found something that we have felt comfortable with. Now sure, we're going to go back to face-to-face -face education. However, it seems like we're going to continue to use these tools in the future. However, what's more important is not the demand side for the EdTech products. It's the supply side. Once this has gained traction on a commercial level, it seems like supply will definitely continue to create its own demand. So even if we pull away from this, it seems like industries and the market have found a new way to generate profit. So it is to be expected that we are not only going to be using EdTech to supplement the way we teach, we're going to be using them as the main way to teach our students in the near future. That's my opinion. However, I always value yours, so please let me know in the comment section what you think about this.